Let's do the renin angiotensin aldosterone system in under two minutes. It's hard, but let's go. So when your blood pressure and blood volume drops, your kidneys are responsible for boosting blood pressure and blood volume back up. Why? Because your kidneys need to filter 120 mils of blood every single minute. If it doesn't do this, things accumulate in the blood, not good for you. So as blood comes in, if the blood pressure or blood volume has dropped, there are cells in the afferent arterial called granular cells. They release renin. All right, this is the start of the renin angiotensin aldosterone system, but it's not the only way to release renin. Think about it. If your blood pressure blood volume has dropped, the filtrate's going to be lower and the pressure inside this nephron is going to be lower. If the pressure is lower, it means there's more time for sodium to be reabsorbed back into the body, back into the blood. And by the time it re reaches the distal convoluted tubule, sodium concentrations are low. This gets picked up by macular denser cells and they then talk to the granular cells and release renin. Third way is the sympathetic nervous system can directly innervate the granular cells to release renin. Now once renin is released from the kidneys, it's floating through <clears throat> the systemic circulation and renin is going to activate something called angiotensinogen that's released from the liver. Angiotensinogen is now angiotensin 1. When it reaches the lungs, which produces something called ACE, angiotensin converting enzyme, it converts angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2 and it's angiotensin 2 that does all the things to increase blood pressure, blood volume. What do they do? Okay, angiotensin 2 tells the blood vessels of the body to constrict. Constrict blood vessels increases blood pressure. Awesome. Second thing is it tells the blood, the uh, efferent arterial to constrict. If that constricts, the blood backs up, increases filtration. Perfect. What else does it do? It travels to the adrenal gland and releases aldosterone. Aldosterone travels to the distal convoluted tubule and throws more sodium back into the body. Why? Wherever sodium goes, water follows. Water is going to bulk up blood volume perfect and blood pressure. And then the last thing is that angiotensin 2 goes to the hypothalamus and stimulates the release of antidiuretic hormone. Here it throws more water back into the body, more water, more blood volume, more blood pressure.